Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm the King and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a little discussion video on should the developers look into and tweak No One Escapes Death and Adrenaline. In recent news, the developers have finally announced that Decisive Strike is going to be getting a change. I voiced my own opinions on this, I'll leave the link in the description, you're free to watch it. I talk about Decisive Strike, my opinion on the changes, and what I would like to see coming in the future. Now after a couple of days, I've been reading the comments, and the number one thing that I've seen a lot of people saying was that since decides to strike out its change the other perk on the killer side needs to be changed too and that was no one escapes death the developers even acknowledged this on their forum post in a q a where they said that they felt that no one is in a right place and it does not need tweaking and they do not view it as being equal to decides to strike so the issue with decides to strike was that there wasn't much counterplay it was very strong in the right hands and it doesn't really reward the killer it's more reward to the survivor on the other hand, you have No One Escapes Death, which is very rewarding to the killer, however, there is a lot of counterplay by easily cleansing every single totem on the map. But in the comments, people debated and debated, and now I'm going to give my opinions on should we go ahead and tweak Noed, and then its other perk that I think is equal to it, Adrenaline. So Noed is a hex perk, a hex rooting its power on hope. You are animated by the power of your hex totem when the survivors are on the verge of escaping. Once the exegates are powered, if there is a dull totem remaining on the map, the hex is applied to it. While the hex is active, survivors suffer from the exposed status effect, and your movement speed is increased by 2, 3, and 4%. I'm sure we are all familiar with the perk, we know what it does, and now I'm going to give you my opinions on what they should do with it. So first of all, I like to say I'm a killer main. For those killers that are typing in the comments right now, I want you to hear me out. First of all, No One Escapes Death has a lot of counterplay. You can run small game, find your totems around the map, or just go and do your secondary objectives. Find the totems, break the totems, and just like that, the killer cannot use it. But I understand, sometimes you're not in an SWF group, sometimes you can't cleanse all the totems, sometimes you can't even find the totem. I understand the situations of it. And then the killer gets no ed, and what I like to call if they had a lazy game, they get rewarded for it now in some cases if you go ahead you finish all the generators quickly and you're ready to leave the killer is having a terrible game you're having a great game they come around the corner and bam no it just like that you're out of the game because of one perk and you had an amazing game and the killer had a really bad one now there's a lot of things that amplify this if you're gen rushing you're not really worrying about placements or anything like that not worrying about totems no it can come into clutch i understand that that's why some killers run it However, if we were looking at this in a balanced game where the killer gets a couple hooks, you know, you get hooked once or twice, you run around, it's a fairly average game, and then the killer gets noed, this gives them the upper hand. I personally think that this needs a tweak. It rewards killers for having a bad game. If they play their cards wrong, they do a lot of stupid things, they don't apply their pressure correctly, and they make a lot of silly mistakes, no one is kind of the safety net for them where they can just run the perk and easily kill someone. I personally don't run it for the simple fact that I think it's a little bit too crutch, and I'm a killer mate. Once again, keep in mind, this is my opinion. You can argue until you're blue about this, but I personally think that this perk needs a change. My proposed fix to this is quite simple. Nizachu actually posted on the Dead by Daylight forums a suggestion to this and I couldn't agree with it more. Imagine if no one escapes death had a timer, or maybe a amount of uses for the amount of times you have put someone on the hook. If no one had a timer as well as the hex portion of it, the killer will now have a little bit of time to go ahead and kill someone. Kind of like Blood Warden, maybe 60 seconds, as we have with Decisive Strike, 60 seconds to get the job done. That's it. They are also changing endgame, so who knows, maybe we see some tweaks with that. I think it'll be a little bit more fair if you're having a great game, you're not hooked the entire game, if the killer is only allowed to use No One Escapes Death, on the person that they have hooked before. Or you have a set amount of tokens, kind of like barbecue and chili, and those are the amount of swings you can do with it. For example, if you were to hook every single person, you would have four tokens in total. For every swing you do after that, one token will be used, and then that is all you have. We can also do the timer idea. I think it would be great. Those are just my random ideas that I have that can tweak the perk to make it a little bit more fair and balanced. Another solution is getting rid of the insta hit or getting rid of the speed boost and only giving the killer one portion of this. I think this would also make it a little bit fair if you only had the ability to knock someone down automatically or go ahead and only get the speed boost, it would be fairly nice. 
Now, just like math, we can't look at one side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. And what I think goes hand in hand with Noed is adrenaline. Now, personally, I don't have a problem with adrenaline. I always expect people to use this perk and my games typically don't go to end game. So I don't see it as much as a killer. So here's what adrenaline does. You are fueled by unexpected energy on the verge of escape. Instantly heal one health state and sprint at 150% of your normal running speed for 5 seconds when the exit gates are powered. Adrenaline is on hold if you are disabled at the moment. It should take effect and will activate when freed. So this is a get out of jail free card for the survivors as well, just as a killer. If we're gonna go ahead and get rid of one portion of Noed where you can only get the speed boost or only get the one hit capabilities, it should be the same with survivors. You're only able to heal one health state or you're only able to get the speed boost. One or the other would make it a little bit more balanced if we're going to tweak Noed. As of now, I think both of these perks are in a good place, but I would like to see a change to both of them if one of them is going to be changed. Those are my opinions on the topic. I think Noed does need a change, and if we change Noed, we definitely have to do change Adrenaline. With the devs finally putting their feet down, changing the size of strike for the better, identifying and fixing the problem, needless to say, we're going to get some more changes to other perks in the game, and hopefully we see those changes to Noed and Adrenaline. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I would love to hear the discussion. As I always do, my name is The King. I tip my crown to you guys, and I'll see you in the fog. Take care.